Psalm 107 verse 4 onward, some wander in desert wests, finding no way to a city to dwell in, hungry and thirsty, as their soul fainted within them. Then they cried to the Lord in their trouble, and he delivered them from their distress. He led them by a straight way till they reached a city to dwell in. Let them thank the Lord for his steadfast love, for his wondrous works to the children of man, for he satisfied the longing soul. And the hungry souls are filled with good things. Now, the longing soul. That's what I want to talk about. The fact that you, you and I have a longing for deliverance, for, for goodness, for help. Points to the transcend, some transcendent God, the, the eternal reality outside of us. You see? So when, when people go in trouble... The, the, the first thing they do, they cry to the Lord in their trouble, and He delivered them from their distress. It's incredible that, um, and that that's that's a that's a natural instinct of everyone that's in, inside our hearts, and to be able to cry out. If we don't cry out, then we don't experience God, and the fact that we cry out, we experience Him. See that? Let them thank the Lord for his steadfast love. Wow, they, they wander in desert wastes. No way to, to a city dwelling hungry and thirsty. Their soul fainted within them. Then they cried to the Lord, their soul. Their soul fainted within them. That is a, that's a, the reality of what we see in the world today. People are fainting in their souls and crying out to the Lord in their trouble. But Lord, let them by straight way until they reach the city they could dwell in, they dwell in. Praise the Lord. Let us thank the Lord for He satisfied the longing soul and the hungry souls. He fills with good things. Oh, guys, gentlemen, ladies, God satisfies the longing soul. The hungry soul, he fills with good things. That's who he is. Cry out to him because the Lord, he is good. His steadfast love endures forever. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so for whom he has redeemed from trouble. This is all redemption. How does this work us out now? Because Jesus has redeemed us from troubles, from evils, from evils eternal damnation to eternal glory and paradise however that however from day to day we still face the troubles and hardships and struggles and God uses that to speak and use a megaphone to speak of the uh, the eternal reality if we get too comfortable comfortable with this world sucked into this world and forgetting him it's a wake-up call it's a megaphone to wake us up to, to the eternal, eternal reality of our God. Bottom line, our God is good. He saves us. He redeems us. He does special things for us. Amen.